The first thing that I ask is, what are the organizational goals? And if you can prepare your thinking and come to digital marketing from this approach, you will be successful. The reason that I ask that as the first question is number one, there might be a culture and a mindset within an organization where they do not believe that digital marketing or digital communications can have a significant impact. The other thing is that I want to find out, well, what does success look like for you in this campaign? What are the deliverables for me? What are the outcomes that I need to bring to the organization? So being able to tease that out and discuss that out is very, very important. And that requires a level of astuteness from a digital marketer. And this is where the, the understanding of the nuances of politics, public policy and government come into play. Because remember, success is not going to look like a conversion rate of 5% bringing a revenue increase of 10%. This is not business. This is the business of government and public sector. So understanding organizational goals and mapping KPIs, digital KPIs back to those goals. That's the first critical thinking piece that you need to do. The second piece is that you want to understand what audience segments that you are going to be targeting. And of course, any good marketer will know that we don't target everybody. We go niche, especially when we go online, we niche down in order to scale up. So understanding audience segments and then going away and doing some social listening because the organization might very well understand the pain points for the organization, but you also need to understand the pain points for the public. And then the campaign messaging is that little bit of sweet spot right in the middle. So if you're a good digital marketer and you're savvy, you'll go away and you will do some social listening and bring some of that research and data back to the table before designing your strategy.